Welcome back to the 2010 MLG Halo 3 National Championships. You are seeing the score of our championship match. Final boss lead status quo in the best of 11 series, 4-2. Joining us now in the booth, we got Bravo, coach of Triggers Down, as we gear up for game number seven of the series. It's gonna be Heretic, Team Slayer, and here in Heretic, it looks like we got, it's gonna be on Heretic, but guys, on this map, it's gonna be all about the kills. The first team to 50 kills, there's gonna be no power weapon, so it's all about the battle rifles and positioning. Final boss taking on SQ, and SQ just put on a performance on the pit. Here we go, we're on the purple map and we're starting it with Ace. He just dropped 30 kills and he finished the game with a triple and then a flag cap. And Bravo, you've seen these two match up time and time again at the LAN network, at the 16 LANs. And we've also seen status quo take a number of these games here on this game type. Yeah, what we're going to look for, Chris, is whichever team can get pin control and then really trap a team in a base. Uh, once teams start collapsing on uh, Blue 2 or Red 2, you're going to just see their kill count go way above the other team. And you've been watching this SQ squad. Your team lost a little bit earlier. We just watched this all pick up a triple kill. You guys narrowly lost to status quo earlier in the, uh, in the tournament. Tell me, what did you see from status quo so far in this match? Um, they're playing each game type really fast, Chris. Um, if two are dead, the next two are flying at you, trying to get map control back, and it really puts, you know, you have to be on guard the whole time. Whereas Final Boss plays much more passive, you'll see on their flag game types, they'll really wait to kill all the other players um, before they pull, and that's you know, something that has been a characteristic of OG2 for a while. You know, they get map control and they push, whereas Status Quo might have two dead, but they can catch you off guard by pushing low or pushing up top. And let me ask you, in your in your series, Triggers Down versus Status Quo, who was the standout player for us too, if there was one? Oh, I don't think, without a doubt, um, I've talked to a few people since, and it was uh, Assault. Um, he was playing out of his mind. Not generally a standout player, you know, someone who kind of uh, does his job and uh, plays a support role. But uh, in the series versus us, I think most people agree that he was really going off. Right now, you're taking a look at the score. Final boss leading here in game number seven, 17 to 14. Assault getting charged. Ace is going to clean up the kill on I Got Your Pistol. Taking a look at the stats. So we got to go check out Ogre 2 when we get a chance. He already has eight kills of his team's 18. Assault going for the instant splits, making his way up to pink two. And Chris, what have you seen so far out of this SQ squad? Well, SQ really hasn't gotten too much control on the map so far. Final Boss has really dominated the pink tower, been trapping Status Quo kind of in a base, and that's why they established an early lead here. But Status Quo seemed to have broken out now. They're all on Carbine side of the map. They're pushing out, and that's why they're going to get back into it. Just two minutes into the game, it's already 22 to 20, an extremely fast game type here being played by both teams. Ogre 2 with nine kills on the other side. Like you said, Bravo, it is Assault leading the SQ squad, 23 to 22. As actually we're seeing SQ take the lead for the first time this game, but Final Boss just retook pink control. And I love the way SQ's been playing all series long. The pressure they put on other teams is ridiculous. I mean, they literally, like Bravo was saying, two are down, the other two are charging, trying to establish some sort of map control, cause some sort of chaos going on with the other team, and that's how they're taking the lead here. Mm -hmm. If Status Quo is able to find that balance between waiting for each other and then pushing at the right times, they could definitely take a few games this series. You got Fear itself putting some heavy fire on Ace and friends over on the blue carbine side, going in with the frag grenades, now looking up above him for a player who was on car three. And Fear itself looking a little bit confused, can't find that player, but he's going to move up to top middle, and he's going to have a great position here to fire upon the status quo response. Mm -hmm. This is what I was talking about right here, Chris. They've kind of got him trapped at blue two, although they don't even have pink three control, which is what is common uh, on this map. They were able to Fear itself pinching him pink side, and they had a car flank able to take out now a seven kill. Yeah, Victor X coming on that carbine flank, but now you see Fear itself pushing in to finish the kill. Remember, Fear itself, your Old Spice Swagger co-MVP with Pistola back in D.C., and he is really showing off some skills here. He's on a killing spree, going for number six as he takes down a Nabel. Finally going to be stopped by Flamesword, but he and Ogre 2 really controlling the pace of the game. 13 kills for Ogre 2, 11 kills for Fear itself, and Ogre 2 doing a nice job of staying alive here on car side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ogre 2, perpetually a great midship player. I mean, he was one of the best in Halo 2 at this map, now one of the best in Halo 3 in this map. He just understands what to do in almost every single situation. And I guarantee he dominates in the Halo Reach version of this map as well. You know it'll be back next year. Ogre 2 making his push with the rest of the game, coming off the respawn. They got status quo on Carbine side, and final boss not looking back. They only need three more kills. You got Pistola sitting pretty in pink too. He's sitting in the sneaky corner. You got Victory X and Ogre 2 at red base just trying to bait in SQ. Yeah, you think about it, Chris. Uh, 
Her Heretic midshift only game to honor all five of Halo 2's game types, so you can bet, you know, with as many games as Ogre 2's play that he knows how to play this map. For darn sure, right now you're checking out Fear Itself, trying to end the game here. Bravo, got to thank you for joining us up in the booth. Final boss, looking we'll like they're closing this one out. But status quo going on, a huge run here. They just got six kills, whereas Final Boss only picks up two. Pistol going for kill number 49, taking fire from all over the map. 10 to 15, or 10, 15 left on the clock, but it doesn't matter as Pistol's making his way. P3 finally finding Assault, that's number 49. He's looking for 50, Victory X calls him out, bottom blue, and Pistol's gonna shoot the player, bottom middle, game over, final boss takes it. Alrighty, so final boss taking that one and looking at the stats, it was all about Fear Itself there dropping 16 kills, the rest of his team dropping huge assist, Ogre 2 also going positive in that one, on the other side status quo, none of their players able to go positive in that one, Bravo, predictions for the final series, I know you said status quo is bouncing back. Um, yeah, but with the way final boss is playing right now, so on fire, I mean every series they're playing with the, the confidence um, of a winning team, uh, you're going to look... If status quo can not get down on themselves and uh, just keep taking it one game at a time, uh, they might be able to pull it off, but it's not going to be easy, Chris. All right, well, Bravo, thank you so much Absolutely. for joining for us. Me. I'm going to win us some Hot Pockets. Here we go, baby. We're going into this one. We're going to finish strong. It's Oddball on Guardian.